Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be going over the jack shaft system that I have installed, as well as how I tension my chain. Okay, so here we can see a nice view of our jack shaft system. We have um, the chain and sprocket running from the driven pulley of our torque converter. Uh, running across a 5 8 inch keyed shaft uh, to another sprocket that runs to our drive sprocket on our differential. Uh, holding this 5 8 inch keyed shaft in place is two 5 8 inch bearings. Uh, this is, these are pillow block uh, bearing style. They work perfectly for this application. You can see that I have them bolted directly through the rear main uh, frame support there. And they are actually spaced out uh, three quarters of an inch or so uh, to move the chain away from this back brace here. The system uses a very simple um, sprocket design. We have our, I believe, 10 or 11 tooth sprockets, both the same, no gear changing occurring. We have essentially just our key uh, running through the sprocket, trimmed to the width of the sprocket, and then two 5 8 inch lock collars on the outside to prevent it from walking when we are driving. Same deal for here, uh, just in this case we also have spacers to allow for the whole jack shaft itself to be locked into place against the two bearings. Have another um, collar on the right side here to prevent it from moving as well, that works really well. Okay, so uh, we also want to mention how we tension our chains because that's very important when promoting smooth operation here. This chain here running to the torque converter has a very simple tensioning method. Uh, the whole engine is mounted on slotted holes in the engine plate. So it's a very simple system. We slide it as close to here as we can get it, cut the chain to the correct length, and then slide it back to adjust. Slide the whole engine system back and adjust the chain tension. This system, however, is slightly different. It also uses slotted bolts, however, they are in the pillow blocks themselves. Uh, slotted bolts on each pillow block bearing allow us to loosen these bolts, slide the whole jack shaft up, and tighten the bolts again. This provides a really great way to tension this chain while not affecting the tensioning of this one. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me uh, by uh, direct message on the Instagram page, uh, link in the description. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like these videos. Uh, it really helps me out. Also, if you know anyone who's interested in go-karts or vehicle building, please let them know about the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much.